And we're back. That was actually a really short cut. Because I uh, don't have the time to record every night, so. Anyway, the other thing I'm uh, looking into getting, and it's actually for you guys' benefit, because... Of, you know, one thing or another, I'm probably going to be getting a new mic sometime soon. So, my the sound in my videos might be a little bit off until I get used to it. But, I'll try and, you know, master it, so... It's not, you know, too bad. Or too noticeable. Ugh. Ow. I, uh... I could have walked around. I tried to jump into the pit instead. Uh, grab all this. Let's see. My armor is still mostly there, thankfully. Did I get my shirt back? Yeah, I got my shirt. Awesome. So that goes up there. That goes up there. I need a sword. An iron shovel for when the pick dies. Do I have any pick left? Yeah, I have a little pick left. Well, I have food now, so or I, my health is refilled, or my hunger is refilled, so I don't need to uh, run back up yet. Come on, eh, eh. All right, All right let's dig down. Like I said, around lava is where you find diamonds, because Notch hates you. I mean, don't feel bad, he hates me too, but... I think I just should say Notch hates everyone. <laughs> no, no, it's, it makes sense, I suppose, in a way. Diamonds around lava. Fish appearing in pools of water in your house, as long as they're, you know, six feet deep. Torches, 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 torches. I don't know what they look like in this texture pack. Uh, there. Uh, they can go in place of the coal, which I don't need in my inventory. As I want to place torches around to keep crap from spawning in and killing my pants off. Which is how, you know, in Minecraft, a valid way, you know, they break your pants, your armor, and then you die. So, you know, they do kill your pants off, quite literally. Alright, I've destroyed this soundly. I need to put down more torches. Oh, wow, there's an entire side of this cave system I did not look at. Oh, wow, there's another lava pool over here. But that's good, because this will give us the opportunity to find a lot more diamond, hopefully. So... <laughs> I will. No, I'm going to keep going until my diamond pick breaks. Fuck this. There we go. Well, that uh, was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Well, not entirely. I expected to die for a while. Alright, so let's get out of here. We'll go make a new pick. I'll put a torch down over here, too, so nothing spawns behind us. Ow. One over here. We'll get out... Do 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 do. Still have Pokemon music stuck in my head. Ah, it's not like I don't like the game series, but after a while, I'd like music in my head other than Pokemon music. Well, I need a bit of a drink right now, so I'm gonna take a sip of this. Ah, I don't have soda too often anymore, but God, dang, it's it's nice to have. Still looking around all paranoid. Expecting Hero Ryan to just jump the hell out at me at any moment. Where did I even put my... Oh, it's all upstairs. Duh. I took most of the... Or I took all these chests out down here and put them upstairs like a... You know, like an intelligent... You know, human being. Cactus green dye, that... Alright, where's my iron? Iron go there. Aaron go bra. Less. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Alright. So, this planks, this sticks, this over here. One, two. One, two, three. We'll put those diamond, extra diamonds in the chest. Um, gold ore can go in there. I'm gonna dump all this cobble. Where the hell am I putting cobble? Ah. 
Uh, yeah, I like cobbling this texture pack. It's kind of neat. Planks, wood, glass, stone, sand, flint, gravel, dirt. Dirt can go here. Um, do I have a lapis lazuli chest? Do I? Yeah, I do. I should be able to make something nice out of all that, actually. Redstone. I've got swords. Uh, the cactus green dye will probably go in the misc chest for now. Got water bucket. This can go there. Rotten flesh can go there. Sand can go in there for now. Flint can go in there for now. I know. Yeah, I know. I've got chests for most of this stuff, and I'm being dumb. A door can go in there. Where the hell? Oh yeah, from the basement. <laughs> so maybe if we uh, spend a decent amount of time deep in the dark underground. We'll run it, you know, collecting the cobble for the next step. <coughs> we'll run ourselves into some heroey brine people. That's right, heroey brine people. I'm keeping those two stacks of on me in case I need to, you know, cover lava or something. Hmm. The search for diamonds continues. You find diamonds, you make a diamond item, you search for more diamonds. I'd like to be able to get a set of diamond armor eventually, but I don't think that's going to happen because I'm uh, really bad at saving up, you know, resources. And that was not a question yet. I continually inflected it upwards. Oh, well. All right. Uh. All right. Let's see what I can do over here, too. Is there... We're getting some good results with the lava... Well, you know, good results and near fatalities, but still, you can't argue with good results. Aside from asking there to be less fatalities, which they never listen. They never call, they never write. Alright. Alright. Right, let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can do here. What I can do, do. Tee hee dee. -de. Yeah, I don't like. I try not to make poop jokes anymore. But there's something funny about poo. I like the word. I like the word poo. Or dewey. Dookie is okay too, but you know, it's copyright. Probably, at least. Huh. Huh. Let's see what I can uncover. Maybe some nice valuable resources for Zoidberg? Huh. Probably not. Nobody loves Zoidberg. Maybe some valuable resources. Like a hot dog. Oh, I forgot about that. Um. Ooh, that... Alright, so that's more bedrock. So we've actually dug back down to bedrock. Uh, that's lava. We've dug back down to lava. Uh. 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 Oh, God. I should have brought that bucket of water. Oh, God. We're going to die down here, aren't we? Let's head back up here. We didn't bring food either, damn it. Oh, we'll just stand close to the door. Or <laughs> closer. Alright, let's grab some food and head back in. I'm still just looking around. Is there a spider on my roof? Better not be a fucking spider on my roof. Okay, there's not a spider on my roof. Then that probably means there's a spider downstairs or directly outside my house. Let's... I don't see anything. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. We can, uh, we can work with this. I can accidentally bump the microphone. Hmm. 
Huh. We need to grab food before we go back down. Hopefully it shouldn't take too much time. Is this where I keep the food still? Yes. Doof. His doof is food backwards. This is unimportant in every way to what is going on. But I just thought I'd share it. <laughs> A very weird person. Mm, but, and once again, while walking down the stairs, I'll wait till we get to the bottom this time, but it's actually, come on, be there, yeah, okay, it's actually time for us to uh, cut this video, and I will return tomorrow for yet more Minecraft, and I hope to see you guys then. Bye. Alright, everyone, I'm back. I just took a moment or so to uh, re equip all of my armor and whatnot, because that's important for living. Though the way I'm doing it, it's not really that helpful for living, now that I think about it. I guess we'll go this way this time. The other area is tending to be a little, uh, unforgiving. Let's see how much lava we can fill in up here. Hopefully this isn't that deep. The thing that amuses me, this was probably right near one of our ceilings, so... I can't remember if we hit any lava while we were mining, but we could have at any point in time and been in, you know, serious doo-doo. And once again, it's back to poop. I'll stay away from poop, folks. That's, that's childish humor, and you don't want to hear childish humor. Duty! Okay, no. Just checking, just checking. It's alright, it's alright. You're, you're cool. Mm, let's see. More mining... Like, more redstone, which is always good, I mean. I still want to build some sort of redstone contraption. You know, for you guys. But, uh, I haven't decided what yet. I could probably do something with the knowledge I learned and imparted to you in the redstone special. Jump up on the damn sand, you remote. You remum. Jump up on the sta sand, your mom, apparently. Oh, that was handy. What's this? I mean, is there anywhere I can... Block that off? There. I'll throw down a couple torches while I'm here. Iron is good. Lots of iron is very good. Large, dark areas we can't reach are bad. So, I think we'll, uh, collect our iron spoils and then go back to our previous little system. I will, however, leave some torches in here in the hopes that shit don't spawn on our heads. So that's, that's bad. And, uh, for those of you that, you know, don't know my exact recording schedule, I'm actually recording this on Halloween, so... It's, you know, all creepy and whatnot. Ooh. Actually, it's not particularly creepy. For some reason, I have, uh... I have... I would walk 500 miles stuck in my head on infinite repeat. And you can't get creepy when you have... Oh God, who's that? The remainders? The replacements? The zombies? Oh. No, no, they did, uh... Zombies were different bands. Uh, but, um, I figure I'll mention it now and then. I really like music, and I know you can't get in trouble for mentioning songs. Uh, if you want to hear something funny, look up the song Zombie Prostitute. It's by an artist named Voltaire, who is one of my favorite musicians of all time. And, yeah, before you, before you even look, though, he's a goth musician, but he's funny. And he knows not to take himself seriously. And those are some things in, I've come to really appreciate in musicians. Because when they start getting an ego and become a lunatic that takes themselves way too seriously, that's when their music turns to shit. I used to do a lot of music, and uh, I played drums, I played uh, rhythm guitar, I played bass, I played a lot of things, and 
I became so dis disillusioned with uh, music in general that last time I picked up a guitar, which was today, you know, messing around with my friend and musical instruments, I realized I can't even remember what an E chord looks like. Or, you know, E sharp. Or E seventh. I don't know. But my point is, yeah, just never take music seriously, ever. I mean, I still like a lot of really serious music from good musicians, but only if they're willing to go, you know what, we, the world doesn't revolve around us. No, sorry, no one form of music actually applies to everyone all at once. You've you got to do what sounds good for you and your music style. But be willing to change to suit the style of music at the time. Well, not the style of music at the time. No, I mean be willing to change to suit what your band's style changes to with time. If you just change it, people like it when we play happy pop songs. Uh, no. That means there are people out there who like your happy pop songs. That doesn't mean you have to change. There's nothing that depresses me more than a band that's, you know, I hate to use the term because I don't like using the term because they're doing, they're playing the music because they want to do it for a living. They want to make money. That is why everyone plays in a band because they are hoping one day they will be rock gods that make a bloody damn fortune. You know, so I won't use the term selling out. But when you completely change your music because it sells better, I can't think of a more accurate term for it. Mm. That's why I used to really like Weezer. I didn't particularly like the whininess as much as, or, or well, I liked it because it was emotional music where the people actually seemed to mean what they said. I didn't even know what the term emo was at the time. And uh, let me tell you. I have since come to associate them almost specifically with the term selling out. Uh, oh, no one else. Alright, it's a really... Yeah. It's a really simple song, but it was one of my favorites for years. That and Get You, off of their album Pinkerton. Uh, it's a good, you know, I rocked out with that to my er, with my friends for ages... Like, years us listening to it together, driving around, doing random things. It was one of the... Uh, that album, Pinkerton, was one of the themes of my teenage years. And then... What the hell happened? <laughs> I went and saw them in concert right after they decided they were going to release the Green Album, and I felt my spirit crushed. And uh, I turned away, and I have not looked back. And I'll still listen to the old songs, because they, they can't actually change them. They, uh, they can only make, redo them and remaster them, but they can't remaster my CD from 1996 or 7 or whatever it was. And, you know, it's never the same. Always beware the artists that care more about the artists who care more about the money than they do their music. I'm sorry, is most musicians today. Now, I'm not going to lie. There's some good ones, but... They've got to have proven to me in my mind that they don't take themselves that seriously. They're you know, serious enough to either put whatever they believe their music should become before what their music is and their fans... Or, well, a thousand other things. Uh, I don't know. I'm being old and grumpy. Oh, my birthday was at the beginning of October. I am almost 30. And more and more these days, I have realized I am almost 30. Now, it's not to say, I actually have heard a lot of musicians I like. I can't deny that. And I've heard a lot of musicians, even to the modern day, that I really like... Mm. My girlfriend is a few years younger than me. Not like your creepy old man younger, but like three I, or two or three. 
you know, likes a lot more modern music than I do, and she's turned me on to a lot of uh, good bands. And, you know, I just... I'm sorry, if your music is just you singing something that doesn't mean shit, then I don't care. And if your music has some deep personal meaning other than I want a f new boat, then I'll probably give you an honest God listen and uh, I will enjoy you and I will tell all of my freaking friends about you. That's why I like, uh, that's why I was having my friend Eric, I'll just tell you his name, he doesn't care too much, uh, work on a thing. He's actually writing the music for it. Well, writing is a bad word. I think he's using a piece of music he wrote when he was 14, and he's older than me, so you get the idea. And, uh, it actually is really good, and something he has put his heart and soul into. It's simple. I mean, it was, pr it's probably just a bass line. Uh, it's gonna be a while before I start using it, because I'm gonna clean it up a lot, because we don't have any good recording equipment. But, you know, it's a really good, really well-thought-out piece of music that he has poured his damn being into since he was 14 to try and... You know, work out how he wants it to sound. Now, it's not, oh my god, music that will change is the world's is, but it's pretty good. I've been babbling on about music for god knows how long, and most of you stopped fucking listening. So anyway, my original point was Zombie Prostitute. Actually, most of Voltaire's songs are awesome. Uh, he also does a song called When You're Evil, which is a song that no matter how 